Hi, I'm Roxanne, this is Vanessa from Chicago. Yes. I'm Donna Storm tonight. This is the first time we performed in England. Yes, it is actually. Really? Yes, it is. How did you find the audience? Uh, actually, I was called, and a promoter called me to come over mm -hmm. to, uh, to England and do the show. So, yeah, I'm called. Well, what did you think about the, 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 the audience? Are they different from the American? Or? The audience was fabulous. Now, I think, <laughs> I think that they, um, the culture is a little different, so maybe some of the things I was talking about, you know, catch people by surprise at first, but um, the audience was very receiving. I mean, I had a blast. I loved it. I loved you definitely it. went over in the end. Oh, yeah. yeah. At the end. Oh, at the end, it was okay. They were, it was because at first when you came out, they were like, this is a strong woman, what's she saying? They were a little bit, and then everybody was just like, yeah, so you have to kind of, you know, befriend everybody and get them to, you know, calm down. And, and then too, um, I have to learn that our cultures are a little mm -hmm. different, so you kind of have to slow, and I talk fast, and so it's like you kind of have to slow down so that mm -hmm. people can catch, you know, what yeah, you're saying. Yeah, you like, do. And you all have this slang, and I'm like, or uh, like one of the comedians doing like, was it pet Petois? Yes. Just different kinds of slangs and all kind of different denominations and nationalities here, so it's, it's different, but I love it. Very cool. Um, I was going to ask you, um, when did you start? When did you start out doing what you did? I actually started comedy three years ago. Is that all? Three years ago. Three years ago, and before that you were acting? No, just, just I'm a mommy. I was just <laughs> being a mommy, working a regular nine-to-five job at a oh, telephone yeah. company, and uh, and everybody, you know, when you grow up, everybody's like, oh, you're so funny, you should be a comedian, yeah, 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 you yeah, should yeah, do yeah, it. Yeah. And, <laughs> and one day I jumped up and did it. And a promoter saw me and he booked me for a show and it just kept going from there. And, and then it, that's how you got, because we only done, done a movie as well. Yeah, I was in the movie Barbershop too. And okay. that was kind of, a friend of mine gave me a call and said, um, hey, I put you in for this. Oh, she was an agent. Okay. She put me in for the audition. It was the first movie I ever auditioned for. And I got the part. And it was the first movie I've ever been in. So it's been a phenomenal three years. This is my, um, I tried I traveled to Europe every summer. Every yeah. summer. The first year I started doing comedy, I came to Europe and did a tour in Germany and in Holland and in Belgium. And then I, um, the second year I came back and then now I'm here. So it's been expanding. It's been I'm, I'm amazed that you've only been doing it three years. I thought you were since I was six. No, yeah. no, no. I'm, I'm 24. I'm young. And, and I started when I was 21. And, and, and God is amazing. I just cannot believe the places I've been. I go to Japan next month. And, yeah. I'm, I'm uh, ecstatic. I can't even <laughs> words can't explain. And the crowd here was so great. You know? Yeah, they looked you. Oh my goodness. That's what they did. Would you prefer for acting? Do you prefer from behind the camera or on the stage? Oh, on stage. On stage. On stage. stage. All the way. That's all I'm, I'm fit to do. I really want to move this. I'm always going to do stand up because it's a release. It's like therapy. You get to get up and tell all your problems, and people laugh at them, and you can laugh at them. But at the end of the day, I really want to put full time into the acting. You know, and then just to stand up, you know, probably when I'm 75, I'm still on the stage and tell jokes, but acting is my main thing. Did it, did it just come natural to you, your style? Because it is very unique and it's something that I've not seen before, the, the, way, the way you do your thing. And did, was that a natural thing or did you have to really work on that? Or, I mean, were you nervous at first? What? You're always nervous. I think any okay. show that you do is yeah. good to be nervous because that keeps you on your toes and it makes you say, I'm going to get out there and be the best I can be. I don't think anybody should ever get comfortable where they're like, ah, okay, I'm about to do a show. You know what I mean? Yeah. You want to give people the best. You need that adrenaline. You need that rush. And that's what that gives you. And I think, um, I don't know, I was born ignorant. I mean, just silly. I have been. I was born goofy. You know, I was always the kid, you know, wanting to make games and sing songs and just want to be the center of attention. I think I was just neglected attention as a child. And that's why I'm now, right, I'm getting all I want now. So, I love it. I mean, the, the whole crew that you go around with, they're all guys. Yeah. Is that hard for you being a woman in yeah. the male industry? It's crazy. I mean, first of all, being the only woman, you have all this male energy hitting at you. And then it's like even... it's. it's it's cool because you stand out and sometimes you're like everybody's yes. little sister, you know, if they're not trying to have sex with you. But um, <laughs> <laughs> that is so true. And, that is, and that's the only thing that you have to, and then um, working with men, it's like, if you can befriend them, it's cool, but you find yourself always having to prove yourself as a woman. Yes. You know, and, and setting boundaries to say, look, we can play this far, but this is as far as it goes because I'm still a lady. And a lot of times it gets mixed up with the fellas because they want to hit you and punch you and yes. do the, the whole little, you know, thing. And it's like, hey, calm down. I'm, I'm, and it's hard to sometimes keep your uh, your, your womanly, you know, you, you know yeah. what I mean? That, that's not feminine like, dignity. It's like the delicacy yeah. because you have to be, you know, I have to be so aggressive yes. in this business yes. because it's a male dominated business. Like you said, when I stepped on stage, yes, I was like, this is a strong yes. woman. Yes. Um, it's like you have to exude that. You mm -hmm. have to give it off, or people will run all over you. But I do love working with men. I love women as well. I wish there were more women 
yes. in comedy and as well as, as more women that getting along mm -hmm. as well. So how women can be. So are, are you going to be coming back to Manchester to do to do this again, or I would love to come back to Manchester. What's your thing um, in the future? What, what is it you want to do? I don't know. I would say that I would love to come back to Manchester if I'm ever invited back. I would just run back. But um, right now I'm just touring. Like I said, Japan is next, and I'm gonna do some more things in the state. I'm selling these T-shirts right here. They have my logo nice along with my nice name logo. across it. So, and then I have a CD out and things like that. So, okay, where where where's it? Can we get that in there? Well, right now I'm selling while I'm on tour. Okay. You know, okay. And, um, so it's, it's a good thing, and I'm I'm trying to basically get just some more things out there and send out a positive message. I mean, I feel like I've been blessed. Spontaneous, dangerous action Kick it into gear to get the reaction Flip it up in here, maximum satisfaction Light it up in chair, MCR, no fear Get it clear, spontaneous, dangerous action Kick it into gear to get the reaction Flip it up in here, maximum satisfaction Light it up in chair, MCR, no fear Get it clear House of Legacies, we got what you need The beats, the rhymes, the melody, the weed House of Legacies, this is what we say the motherfucking